Lords is always is a special place to come and play cricket. You know, it's the it's the home of of cricket, and you always look forward to, you know, especially the first Test match here. Not just myself, but you know, some of the other players who are involved in Lords will always bring back memories of the World Cup final, and it's obviously only going to be, you know, happy memories. So, as you know, special the place Lords is to to every cricketer in the world, we get to come back here and you know relive that wonderful day. I tried my hardest to get you know the readers into what it's you know like out on the field at certain moments which they would have seen from watching you know Ireland TV or at the ground itself real experience of what it is like to be out in moments in, in a cricket game so I hope that I've managed to get across you know the feelings that I go through and the feelings that other players go through whilst being out in a game but you know also lots of the the off-field stuff you don't necessarily get to see what goes into to what we do or, or how we speak to each other and team meetings and stuff like that so it's such a quick turnaround in terms of the actual game finishing to the super over starting it was 10 minutes so um, you know I had to quickly get my head back on or back into the mode where I was when I was batting before because you know I was upset I was I was angry that I didn't mean to do it I was tired physically done well enough to get us to a super over but I knew I had to go back out there and like you know, do another job and I couldn't carry any of that baggage from 10 minutes before out there with me. You know, I had to get back into a fresh frame of mind. We all stay level as, um, as a team and you know, I, I try to make sure as an individual that I stay very level through the highs and lows. If you're riding on top of a successful wave through a certain period of time, I can stay level but then you know, if things aren't going so well for a certain period of time, I, I feel like I can handle both quite well. Obviously I'd rather be doing better than, than poorly but um, yeah, just try and stay as level as I can. Sometimes at certain points it was quite difficult um, trying to have to remember things. Um, you know, there was there was at points where I remember something, you know, that I should have remembered half an hour before. You know, we start writing a chapter or something like that. So I have to go back and then, oh yeah, I remember this now. So it was quite difficult, but I just wanted to make sure that I got as much as I could across. The bit about the headingly. The last hour that me and Leachy, we actually did that by watching the one hour thing that they had on Sky. Yeah. Watching it back and talking about it was actually, uh, um, you know, like, I think goosebumps, but I knew what was going to happen, but I was still yeah. a bit nervous watching. We play out there, so we're just, we're just enthralled in the game in itself. We don't get the different camera angles, the commentary or the atmosphere you hear on the TV. So being able to watch those two moments back on the TV was was pretty awesome being able to see it from a different angle that we're not used to because we're out there playing. The more I've played, the more experience I've got has changed me as a cricketer as I feel like I've now become more consistent. The international schedule is full on. It's, you know, we go to New Zealand shortly and then South Africa after that, so I've just got that all to focus on and there's lots of cricket to come up, so hopefully can continue what I started this summer.